This is All India Radio. All India Radio played a significant role during the Green Revolution period in the country. The Green Revolution, ably led by agriculture scientist Dr. M. S. Swaminathan in the late 60s, has indeed come a full circle. A plant geneticist by training, Dr. Swaminathan's contributions to the agricultural renaissance of India have led to his being widely referred to as the scientific leader of the Green Revolution movement. Synergy between technology and public policy is exceedingly important. Technology alone cannot do anything. For example, we had high yielding varieties of seeds, but if they cannot be multiplied, if they cannot be taken to the farmer, given the inputs, the seed itself will not do anything at all. So we require a political administration which is progressive, which is responsive to the people's needs. American agronomist Norman Warlock's research of genetic mutation in plants helped start the Green Revolution. Warlock expanded his coordinated breeding effort to India, succeeding a large increase in wheat production and forever changing the face of agriculture for the whole world. There are a lot of barriers you have to go through in trying to change a stagnant uh, traditional agriculture in a food deficit nation. Everybody says the peasant farmer in these countries is resistant to change. That's not true. If he sees, demonstrated on his own land, that that package of technology can double, triple, quadruple, like happened in India and later in China, Addressing a public rally in Prayag, Raj of Uttar Pradesh in 1965, then Prime Minister Lal Bahadur Shastri gave the slogan Jai Jawan, Jai Kisan to enthuse the soldiers to defend India and simultaneously cheering farmers to do their best to increase the production of food grains to reduce dependence on imports. <laughs> सारे देश का एक जय हिंद का नारा लगता है आपसे आशा करूंगा कि आप उसे दोहराएंगे एक तो जय जवान जय जवान जय किसान जय किसान जय हिंद इंडिया टुडे हैज टेकन अ जॉइंट लीप इनटू डिजिटल एग्रीकल्चर Backed by ambitious schemes of the central government, the new age Indian farmer is now being empowered with cutting-edge enabling agri-tech like big data, artificial intelligence, blockchain, remote sensing, drones and new technologies. Through AIR, farmers are apprised of the government schemes like Prime Minister's Krishi Sichai Yojana, Har Khet Ko Pani, More Crop Per Drop, including emerging micro-irrigation technologies, artificial intelligence-enabled water conservation techniques, and climate-resilient seed varieties. AIR has stepped up its activities of agriculture broadcast, with the launch of Kisan Vani program broadcast from 96 stations across the country. The agriculture programs are mounted in regional and local dialects from different stations. Local radio stations also broadcast regular programs on rural development.